Hey everybody, last night the video got cut off. Well, there were two things. Um, the video stopped recording when I tried to bring up Task Manager because pushing Control alt delete interferes with the ability to record the screen, which is probably good for security reasons, but it was annoying for my recording. I didn't think about that. I, I feel like I should have known that, but that's not the point. Anyways, um, and then when I tried to run with 31 processes, it uh, it it broke my computer. I had to reboot it. Uh, I um it it like I tried to restart the IDE and it kept shutting down. I needed to reboot, so I guess that I just don't have enough RAM to load the spacey natural language processor thirty one times. Uh, kind of makes me wish that uh, when I was building my computer, I tried to have 128 gigabytes of RAM, but I didn't know about the memory controller issue with the Ryzen 9 that doesn't allow you to have four sticks of memory. So I ended up just going with a uh, 64, and then there's a, a lonely 64 gigabyte somewhere, somewhere in this house. I have misplaced it, but I it's in a container somewhere. So. So, whoopsie. Anyways, I just ran it with uh, with 15 processes, and that worked. It still took a lot of RAM, but um, didn't uh, didn't crash the machine or anything. So, what I did while that was running, because it was kind of it was kind of boring. If you see, I it's here, it's finished here. So now, all of these could be concatenated together. They're just one big output, but it's you know it's no big deal. Uh, where's the small one? Ah, that would have to be the one from the uh, one smaller file. So, uh, so okay, I need to close this. Um, it says, Nadie sabe lo que va a pasar mañana. Uh, pues ahora yo quiero saber lo que va a pasar. Okay, that's distracting me, so let's close that. I was looking at my GPT-3 usage. It is so much lower in cost than GPT-4 that it's almost ridiculous. It's like one or two orders of magnitude cheaper. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, deal with the output not being as smart. Now, what I did was I, um, let's see here. I came in here, <coughs> these are all the things that I removed. A hell, a today, a men, a women. This is weird to me because I thought Spacey marked plural nouns differently than regular nouns. I guess it doesn't. So I needed to, um, I needed to just manually go through the list. Uh, I probably could have accomplished it by comparing the lemma. So I, I, what I did was I read this. Yeah, look, women, woman. It just says noun. I thought it said like noun plural or something. But what I could have done is I could have compared the lemma to the word and if it was different, then not, not used it here. D like this right here. <laughs> Just uh, boy is not the same as boys. It says noun, but yeah. I went through that. Hmm. You know what, let's update it right now. Um, and P2, if it doesn't equal noun or P2 doesn't equal P3, then continue. And then from here, I created these combinations. X not in the list, a min. Okay. Let's, uh, let's remove the customization here. A minute and a deal and a town, a sun and a fire and a hell. I think hell 
Hell was one of the original ones that I removed. Okay, and so then I used this list. Um, you know, I could theoretically want to save this. My rule is if it's in Scratchpad, it is fair game. But um, let's, let, no, let's not. Grab nouns and make combinations. Grabbing the nouns is pretty easy, but uh, creating the combinations, you know, wasn't hard, but it wasn't like, you know, like trivial. So uh, let's see here. Then I came in here to OpenAI Micro Stories. You probably can imagine I just copied and pasted my other OpenAI generate prompts and modified it. Here's the qualifiers that I added. A mom and a baby and an end. A baby. Okay, that's fine. If it wants one extra one at the end, that's fine. Okay. Um, then I just say, write a four line story about additional qualifier that a second grader could understand. And I guess my internet went down in the middle of the night, so it didn't finish. I deleted the ones that were already done. Let's run this again. Oh, that's everything that I've written so far. On a dark, starry night, a brave little squirrel stood on one side of his tree. He watched as the moon climbed high, curious to know the reason behind its glow. I like that. More importantly, by making it a story, it has more context than a single sentence, which I think is part of the problem if you just tried to use something like this directly. Yeah, no, what? Well, I, okay, okay. These top ones, maybe maybe administering them directly is fine. But if you go down a little bit, just randomly selecting something, it, it needs context. Language needs context. How are you feeling? See, that belongs inside of a dialogue. That, you know. So here we go. So these are generating real time. Once upon a time, there was a detective named Alex. Good name. Alex had to solve a special case. Behind a mysterious door, the truth was waiting. With bravery, Alex opened the door and discovered the secret that solved the case. Micro stories. I like this. They show language in action while establishing a scene and demonstrating the use of vocabulary. Now, one thing I found with uh, OpenAI, uh, with ChatGPT 3.5, was that if I say, write a four-line story that a second grader could understand, and then I say, include the words this, this, and this, it will get confused, sort of. Um, it, it does much better if it flows naturally like a s sentence, like about a case, a truth, and a door. Aha, that's, I think that's the one that we just read. A game, a matter, and a fire. Once upon a time, there was a game called Magical Mystery. In the game, there was a matter called A matter. I'm wondering if I should interrupt this. What the hell is a matter? Oh well, you know what? These stories will require going through of a human and if some suck, then we just delete them. Okay, 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 okay. So now where was, God, I'm getting too many files in here again. Generate parts of speech. The one I was working on last night, where was it?
You gonna answer that? <laughs> All right, story grab parts of speech. I don't know where the one that I ran last night was. I imagine I could find it pretty easily. That's from short stories. Oh, it was right here the entire time. Okay, so processing. I would like it to mimic the, uh, the story in here. Okay, so let's see here. Raw stories. This is what we want. So processing. Do we really need multiple processes for this? No, I don't think we do even a little bit. So. I would like to add the parts of speech to this. I should have an add parts of speech. Add parts of speech to raw dialogues, and then I can modify this to add parts of speech to the stories. So, so to raw stories. If anything, that should probably be easier. Okay, raw dialogues, um, raw stories. I'm on Windows, so case isn't important. Okay, doing file. Assert story in data. If length of data equals the original, it's going to confuse me. So where was I? OK, assert length of data equals one and part of speech, no. Always close the file you're not working on. Assert length of data equals one in parts of speech not in data, or length of data equals two in parts of speech in data. If part of speech in data, then continue. Sounds good to me. Um, we need to have all of them done, and I like it to be item potent. So hope it's obvious why I'm doing what I'm doing here. This is still running, right? Rerun, stop. Okay. For D and data dialogue, this is more complicated than it needs to be. Tech not test text equals data story <laughs> text all right should go pretty fast, actually. Are these still adding? I feel like something happened. Like, did I pause it or? Yeah, 
I don't I don't know why this this stopped writing. I don't understand what's going on here. A matter. I still don't like that. Control R a uh, matter. There's two more. A duck. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to make more sense than it did. Okay, let's resume running this. Close that, close that. Add parts of speech to raw stories. Should I back these up? Yeah, I think so. If you ever mess with it, um, you should back them up. So let's see here. Control A, Control C, desktop, new folder, backup. Okay, where is this used? This takes about two seconds, doesn't it? Yeah. Data equals this. Let's just say three seconds. Sleep time dot sleep three three what? Three seconds. So from the time that we read it, it has three seconds to finish whatever it's doing. Maybe that's unnecessary, but um Modify this method to wait if the file was create if only if a file was modified within the last was modified or created within the last ten seconds. Otherwise, no sleep. To implement the described behavior, you want to check the modification time of each JSON file in the directory. Yes. If any was modified or created within the last 10 seconds, you'll sleep for three seconds. Here's a modified function. Okay. GPT is very helpful. All right. Okay, this is still running, right? Admit that 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 went pretty fast. I expected it to take a little bit longer than that. Okay. So raw stories. Once upon a time, there was a cat who liked to play. One day, the cat found a ball and started to chase it. The cat had so much fun. 
much once so whatever the hell that is determiner noun all right Now, because it's idempotent, I can I can just run this at the end. This is good. This is what I wanted. Um, maybe the order of the story should be adjusted to repeat things that needed to be repeated. I feel like this keeps getting stuck and I don't know why. Stop, stop. A time, a mother, and a way. Once upon a time, there was a child called Lily who loved the night. She saw a sweet couple walking hand in hand, looking at the stars. The couple smiled at Lily, and her heart felt warm and happy in the dark. Okay, that's cute. I don't know why it keeps getting stuck. Hopefully it's not getting stuck. It seems to be running now. All right. 